Hi friends, I am Dr. Mohammed Abdul Naim. I am a liver transplant surgeon at Care Hospital, Banjara Hills, Hyderabad. Today I am going to talk about fatty liver, a very common problem in India and other parts of the world too. It's a modern day pandemic. There is an increasing incidence of fatty liver all around the world due to changing lifestyles. Approximately 25% of the population, every fourth person may have a fatty liver. In healthy liver, there is no fat. And if more than 5% of the liver contains fat, it is called fatty liver. There are two types of fatty liver disease. One, alcoholic fatty liver, and the other one is a non-alcoholic fatty liver. Heavy alcohol drinking increases fat in the liver, which can damage the liver. Many patients who drink little or no alcohol also may develop fatty liver. This is called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD. And I'm going to focus my talk on this non-alcoholic fatty liver disease entity. Fatty liver or NAFLD is strongly linked to diabetes, obesity and insulin resistance. In insulin resistance, your cells don't take up sugar in response to the hormone insulin. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is closely associated with metabolic syndromes which includes diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol and having central obesity or belly fat. Having fatty liver and metabolic disease also increases the risk of heart disease and cancers. NAFLD is mostly a silent disease causing no signs or symptoms. Some patients complain of nausea, loss of appetite and weight loss. Extreme fatigue, weakness or a constant dull pain in the right upper part of your tummy because of an enlarged liver, stretching your liver capsule can be seen in advanced cases. Yes, though obesity is the main risk factor for NAFLD, around 10 to 20% of people with NAFLD are lean and thin and they may have a genetic basis for fatty liver. Yes, NASH or NAFLD may be hereditary. Having a parent or a sibling with NAFLD-related cirrhosis dramatically increases the risk of uh, NASH. NAFLD is an umbrella term for fatty liver and has four stages ranging from simple steatosis, NASH, fibrosis to cirrhosis. Fortunately, the majority of persons with fatty liver or simple steatosis have only fat in the liver without inflammation and this is completely benign and not harmful. However, a quarter of patients with fatty liver will develop more severe liver damage, a condition called as NASH or non-alcoholic steatosis hepatitis. NASH liver is inflamed and slowly becomes scarred and damaged in about 25 to 30% of patients. It eventually progresses to cirrhosis and causes liver failure and sometimes even liver cancer. Higher levels of liver enzymes on a blood test, a sign of liver injury may raise a red flag. Fatty liver is usually diagnosed by ultrasound. Other specialized tests like fibroscan, MRI and elastography may be required to diagnose and assess fatty liver and liver scarring. Sometimes a liver biopsy may be needed, wherein a small piece of liver tissue is taken through a needle puncture for observation under a microscope. There are different treatments available for fatty liver and the treatment depends on the stage of the disease in each patient. The good news is that often prevent or even reverse fatty liver disease with lifestyle changes such as diet, regular exercise and weight loss. 5-10% to of weight loss and regular intense exercise can reduce liver damage significantly should reduce calorie intake by at least 500 to 1000 kilocalories. A low carbohydrate diet with a reduced amount of saturated fat is the best. Maintain good control of your diabetes, blood pressure and reduce cholesterol levels, especially your triglyceride levels. Avoid alcohol as alcohol adds to the damage to the liver due to NAFLD. Choose a healthy Mediterranean diet that's rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes 
and healthy fats like olive oil. Fish, white meat and eggs can be consumed. Avoid red or processed meat. Coffee intake two to three times a day is good as it re reduces scarring of the liver and prevents liver cancer. Avoid sedentary lifestyle. Regular exercise 30 minutes per day, at least five days a week should be the goal. Try to maintain ideal body weight, which is approximately your height in centimeter minus 100. For example, if your height is 170 centimeter, your ideal body weight should be around 70 kgs. Unfortunately, there is no specific medicine that can reduce the amount of fat in the liver. For those patients with mild and simple fatty liver, lifestyle change is the only treatment required. However, patients with NASH and liver damage need more treatment to prevent further problems apart from weight reduction and lifestyle change. New special medicines are now available to treat NASH and fibrosis. Such patients should have a detailed assessment by a liver specialist. Rare but serious complications of fatty liver include liver cirrhosis leading to liver failure and liver cancer. Such patients can be helped with liver transplantation which can now be done with a very high success rate. Liver cancer can also be treated and even cured by liver surgery or liver transplantation. Have a healthy liver and a healthy life. Thank you.